Hey, it's Chris. It's a really hot and humid day today. But I was thinking about when I got all my Ryobi tools, they all were 18 volts. So I always have a ton of these batteries. But more recently, I've been getting a couple of tools that are the 40 volt batteries. Thinking, would it be cool if we made a, an adapter that went from a 40 volt battery to an 18 volt battery? So that's what I'm gonna work on to today. For now, I can only find a DC converter that goes from 48 volts down to 24 and then I have one that goes from 24 to 19 so that's what we're gonna have to use it'd be nice to find one that went from 48 right to 19 but I haven't found one yet it's not very pretty but I want to test to see if this works so I've got an old battery carcass that I'm using to connect to the 18 volt tool then I have the two DC to DC converters they're driven by a 40 volt battery. It's in my adapter. It seems like it works okay. With this setup, we're just going to see how many watt hours are in the battery. With the 4 amp hour Ryobi battery, it's rated at 144 watt hours. I ran it at about 95 watts and it actually got 144 watt hours. I've got the discharge set at about 5 amps and it's about 19 volts output. I've got an AC junction box that I'm going to use to mount stuff in in the cover. I'm going to cut off these tabs. I've taken a 4 amp hour Ryobi battery apart, removed the cells, and I'm going to save this contacts. I'm just going to clip the leads here. I'm going to strip these wires and put connectors on it and put it back into the top of the case. I 3D printed a 40 volt battery adapter. I'll put some links to the models. I've got to install the connectors and the wires. I'm going to attach the 40 volt battery adapter to the junction box by drilling four holes and using number eight machine half inch machine screws to attach it. I'm gonna mount the bottom of the Ryobi battery case to the cover of the junction box by drilling four holes and putting four number eight bolts through. I mounted the DC converters to the junction box by drilling holes through and bolting them. And now I'm gonna drill holes into the battery so I can run the wires through. I've fed the output of the DC inverters through the connectors here. I've fed the 40 volts from the adapter into the box. And I've fed the other DC, DC converter through the connector into the box. So now I've got everything connected here. So I'm going to close it up. I've got the four security screws to put back in. Well, if I've done everything right, I should have around 19 volts here, and I do. So I think I'm good to test. It's definitely pretty sci-fi looking. I'm using a Ryobi 40 volt battery. This is a 4 amp hour. I've got it connected to my 3D printed adapter. And then I'm going to an electrical junction box. And then I have a carcass that I get out of the recycle bin that's an 18 volt, 4 amp hour battery. I'm using two DC to DC converters to go from 40 volts down to 19 volts. And these are
these will run at about 10 amps. So we'll only work with tools that take less than 10 amps. The drill. 150 watt power inverter. The FM radio. The lantern. The flashlight. The soldering iron. The Dremel tool. Because of the weight of the whole unit here, I'm not sure it's a good idea to do it with tools like this that you're going to be picking up because it's going to put an awful lot of stress on this connection here. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.